that actually you're more than a singer, you're an artist. Yeah. This is one of the craziest things I've ever heard in my entire life. Somebody said you got a new friend Does she love you better than I can? And there's a big black sky over my town I know where you at, I bet she's around Stilettos and broken bottles I'm spinning around in circles And I'm in the corner Watching you kiss her oh, oh, oh. And I'm right over here Why can't you see me? Oh, oh, oh. And I'm giving Far away, but still so near The lights come on, the music dies But you don't see me standing here I just came to say goodbye I'm in the corner watching you kiss her oh. And I'm giving it Music dies, but you don't see me standing here. Thank you so much. Okay, and just tell me your names, please. Uh, my name is Marcelito Pomoy. Marcelito? Yeah. And you are? And I am Joanne Pomoy. And where are you both from? We are both from the Philippines. Oh. <laughs> now, you're not the act, are you? I'm not. Okay. So, the reason why I'm here is to support him all throughout. Okay, good. My husband, you know, he has very hard life in the Philippines. But then he won the Philippines Got Talent. Did he win? Yes. What year? 2011. Huh? I'm going to ask you one last question. Are you here to win it? Yes. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. I pray you'll be all right. That's his voice. And watch us where we go. 
in help us to be one in times when we don't know It's time to say goodbye. 
taking my bath. <laughs> oh my god. I couldn't go. But it's been no bit of roses. No! Yes! I consider it a challenge before the human race. And I could have binoculars are ridiculous. Stop it. You don't understand. They're not binoculars. Yes, they are. No. What it does, it takes the light outside from it makes the outside sense. and it gets darker around and then I can actually see better. I need to my focus glasses. focus into some parts yes, sometimes. Exactly. So it's not it so bright. Sense. Because when it's so bright, I can't see what they're doing and I need to judge. 
So my family and I are watching AGT and my dad says, is Beyonce always on this? It's Tyra Banks. Or is it? Blue Ivy, Blue Ivy, sit down right now. Mama gotta host this show, Blue. AGT made Simon Cowell so soft. Oh, good point. Yes, for me. I'm on Simon the Savage back. The one who crushed dreams and made people cry for fun. <laughs> off. <laughs> what is the best thing about being Simon Cowell? Oh, the best thing about being you. Well, it's cat, right? Is yeah, hi. When I was uh, at school and I was very bored. Briefly. Yeah, briefly, yeah. I kind of thought, <laughs> hopefully when I'm older, I can do a job where I have fun and I don't have horrible bosses. And now I have a job, which is honestly the most fun in the world. Uh, so and that's... you are the horrible boss. <laughs> and I'm the horrible boss. I got it. That is Heidi having lunch. Feel it's Heidi chewing something? Heidi chewing chips. Sounds like a hamster is eating something. Oh my gosh, it's the guy crushing the nuts with his butt cheeks. Mr. Cherry, I love him. It was hard. It really hurt. Hi, Simon. How are you? Um, you are my family's favourite judge, believe it or not. I do believe it. Um, but if you had to choose between your America's Got Talent judging panel or your Britain's Got Talent oh, judging hello, panel, hello, hello. which one is your favourite and why? Oh. Well, to be fair, they are more intelligent in America. Who? In America. In America, right? yeah. You start. don't mean that disrespectfully. No, they are more intelligent. <laughs> um, what, Heidi Klum? <laughs> She's sick as big shit. <laughs> no. No, now, he, now he can't be sacked. He'll just say anything he wants. Say, like, say you I said he'll be out of control now. <laughs> <laughs> Taking that to a side, um, look, it's difficult. I like them both. Uh, I like these guys because they're sort of stupid. <laughs> What word do you think he's thinking of, and vice versa? What do you think Howie is thinking of? One word. And when I count to three, you're going to say that word out loud. Clear your mind. OK. This is a mind-reading technique to show that you guys are in perfect sync. Okay. OK. Read her mind. Three, two, one. Yes! <laughs> Earring and shoe. <laughs> Look each other deeply in the eyes, deeply. Three, two, one. Nice. Look at each other deeply. Understand each other. Three, two, one. Lipstick. <laughs> this is freaky. <laughs> Lipstick. Feel the power. Word? You have it? Yeah, yeah. Have it? I got it. Three, two, one. Handsome. handsome. What? Did y'all say handsome? Handsome! That was not, by the way. This is crazy. I, I swear on my life, that was not prep. <laughs> I didn't plan that. What are three things that you love about yourself? Um, humility. Uh, yes, uh, charm. Humble. Good looks. Humility. Generous. Uh, I like people, I wear great clothes, I'm funny, um, I'm great fun to have dinner with and breakfast and lunch, um, great to go on holiday with, um, I like guys, I like girls, I like animals. I know you do! <laughs> I know you do! Let's, straight let's in there. replay that clip again. <laughs> we have evidence, ladies and gentlemen. I like girls, I like guys. Thank you! You finally said it. And you got like, animals as well? We're not going there. <laughs> David. <laughs> Welcome to Buzzer, buddy. Howie, if you were cleaning out Simon's closet, what would you throw away first? If I was cleaning out Simon's uh, closet? You've got very minimal choices here, because he wears the same thing. Yes. Oh, it's, uh, oh. it's between the white t-shirt <laughs> exactly. and the white dress shirt. And, or the bell-bottom pants. The white t-shirt. 
The white Simon, everything. Oh, that is everything. It. You know what? <laughs> I'm gonna give you that point. That is everything. I am giving you that point. What do you think, audience? They deserve that point. That's pretty much all that Simon wins. It used to be Simon Cowell for a day. What would you do? Don't answer. Don't that. answer that because she's, I could she's go. there. <laughs> Be Simon for the day. Yeah, if be I careful. could be Simon for the day, yeah. If you could be Simon for a day, do? what would you do? I would make love to me. <laughs> so, and, and, and with, I know you closed your eyes there, Simon. Was that just the image going through your head, or? <laughs> uh, do you know what? His sense of smuttiness gets worse <laughs> on a nightly basis. Howie, I, I want to say this from, from my heart here. Uh, what you have done for the show, and as a friend, as one of the most amazing people I've ever worked with, oh, wow. I wanted to pay you a tribute to show your significance, and most importantly, your importance for the 10 years you've been on the show. Over to you, Tony. Sunset Boulevard, okay, let's take what? a look. Here Sunset we go. Boulevard. Count it down with me, people. Where am I looking? Five, four, three, two, one. David, we've seen a lot of good magic acts on the show so far, but don't you agree with me that the real magic on the show has to be Simon? That's a great what question. Is that for you? What's his name? Um, Karen. Karen, that's a great question. Well, yeah. I mean, it's magical how a man of 85 still looks like that. I mean, <laughs> he's, had, he's had some assistance of some kind, didn't he? My goodness. <laughs> Um, yeah, it is, it is magic. He, it is fun. I actually, the weird thing is, although I know you pretty well, I actually do get starstruck every time I see you. I go, oh my God, it's Simon Cow! Every time I walk <laughs> It's the weirdest thing. That's, that's weird. Do you get starstruck with him? No. There you go. <laughs>